22nd of October 2024. In this news flash, I'm going to talk about something Cyril said at the BRICS 2024 gathering in Russia. Listen to these words. BRICS can help South Africa's young and urbanized population industrialize further. South African president. Now the question I have, what fucking population is he talking about? That population that sings in the varsities and the schools, kill the boor, kill the farmer. That population that runs around in the streets, burning tires, breaking shop windows, destroying buildings, destroying schools, destroying libraries, burning buses. Is that the population that BRICS must help to industrialize? The reality is, the bulk of this population that he is talking about, is uneducated, undisciplined, and unemployable. But he says big things like this. Now, here's some more from him. South Africa is home to a young, digitally connected and increasingly urbanized population. And investment in the country's infrastructure will boost the whole continent. What the fuck is he talking about? The whole continent can see how this population that he's talking about is destroying infrastructure, destroying railway lines, destroying power lines, destroying cable connections, destroying everything. That's infrastructure. Destroying roads, digging trenches over tarred roads. That is what they are doing. That is what the world shows. That is the information that the other BRICS countries seize from South Africa. But this fool sits there and he wants to entice them to invest in infrastructure. Infrastructure that will be destroyed faster than it can be built. What the fuck is wrong? Why doesn't he face the facts? South Africa is a shithole and it can never, never recover under the current dispensation. And the bad part for Cyril is the Russians and the Chinese are fully aware of what the fuck is going on here. They know what they have done to the country. Because you must understand, Russia knows South Africa prior to 1994. But that is not important because facts and logics is something that must never be applied because black privilege means that blacks can be entitled, blacks can be destructive, and blacks don't need to build anything. The world owes them to build things. Just look at what's happening in Iran. If you go and you do some investigation, you will understand and see how the Iranians are maximizing their membership of BRICS by boosting their small businesses, by boosting their farmers, helping those people to optimize and to take the opportunities that BRICS are offering them by exporting to the other countries. What happens in South Africa? Everything gets fucked up. Everything gets destroyed. This young population that Cyril talks about, look what they are now doing to the education system. The education system that they fucked up properly in 30 years. The last remnants is the Afrikaans medium schools, where students still acquired a matric certificate that was worth something. They are now destroying that as well. And if you take how much the Chinese and the Russians specifically are investing in education, do you for one fucking moment think that Putin and Xi Jinping, they are aware of the destruction of the education system in South Africa? Do you for one moment think that they have any sympathy or empathy with what Cyril is saying? They know that every cent that they spend in this country will be fucked up and destro destroyed. They know it. But these blacks here, these entitled racist blacks here in South Africa, 
They think the world owes them. They are going to land into a shit spot. I have said it a year ago in skid marks that I did. South Africa is, gonna, South Africa is going to lose its relevance in BRICS. Just this morning, I listened to a commentator talking about the BRICS pay system. And he said, BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China. He says that, and he then says, the S, supposed to be for South Africa, but that S is actually more applicable to Saudi Arabia. And I listened to it and I thought to myself, fuck, another guy that sees the truth. I am telling you, South Africa is going to lose their relevance in BRICS. The only thing that is keeping South Africa in BRICS is the Cape Sea route. That's the only thing. These other countries, these other BRICS countries will not invest here. Why? Look at the reality. Iran will not invest here because Iran is not black people. So they do not qualify under the BEE rules. So if they want to invest here, they must give control of their company to blacks, entitled blacks. They're not going to do it. The same goes for Saudi. The same goes for Russia. The same goes for China. The Chinese, they'll come here and they'll take contracts and build the contracts. And the bad part for South Africa is the Chinese brings their own laborers. They don't even want to use the local labor. But these fucking entitled militant blacks, the EFF and their cronies, they don't see that. They don't understand what the fuck is happening. Why don't they understand what is happening? Because they've got a 30% pass, which means there's 70% that they've got no clue about. And there's strong indications that that 30% is actually manufactured. So what the fuck is Cyril talking about? South Africa is ready to play its part in realizing the economic potential of BRICS, the president emphasized. What the fuck is he talking about? South Africa is not ready. South Africa is ready to destroy whatever it is. South Africa is ready to become a burden on BRICS, standing there with a begging bowl, same as Zelensky. The expanded BRICS group now covers 43% of the world's population. The group together accounts for 27% of global GDP and a fifth of the world's exports. He noted that. He noted that. But South Africa cannot claim any share in that. The only share South Africa has there is in the population. A vast population. Uneducated. Undisciplined. That is the realities. So... Think about these things. And you blacks that are so eager to destroy the education system, you must just understand the world is moving on. The world, the new world, is going to require educated, skilled people. Not fucking militant 30% pass IQ 70s that destroy and destruct. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.